Hey you guys, what is up? This is Derek's Reptiles. We've been gone for a while, but today we decided to shoot a video. So if you're watching, stay tuned, hit that subscribe button, and thank you for watching. What's up animal lovers? It's Cedric the Entertainer here. And especially those who love reptiles and snakes. Y'all gotta go check out my man, Derek's Reptile Snake Feedings. That's right. So, so, hey, hey, listen, just keep up the good work. And uh, like I said, uh, tell all your people to subscribe to Derek's Reptile Channel. Hey, everybody, what's going on? This is Gary Owen. And uh, check this out. I want everyone to go to this YouTube channel. Listen to me. Derek's Reptile. What is up, you guys? It's been a while, been doing a lot of work in my reptile room, so I've been gone, been doing stuff with my family, but we're back now. Today we're gonna talk about something that is just annoying, you know, snake mites. The the reptile community, we get them quite often and I don't, I don't feel like we talk about them enough. I'm fairly new to the reptile hobby and I got snake mites and I didn't know what they were until I dug in and did some research. Snake mites are horrible. Like, in, I don't know why God did that. I love God, you know, cross up, you know. But I don't know why God did that. It seems like every animal on the planet can get like lice or mites or something that sucks their blood. And that's exactly what snake mites are. They're like fleas. You know, like dogs, dogs get fleas and suck blood. Well, snakes get um, mites and they suck blood also. They're a horrible thing to get in your collection. And once you get them, they spread like wildfire. If you don't take care of them, like your, your snakes, they're going to eventually die. It's, it's just that detrimental to them. So today we're going to talk about an easy way to get rid of them. Something that works for me, um, might not work for everybody else, but it worked for me. You know, a lot of people, when they're dealing with snake mites, they want to go like the natural way and that's fine. But for me, I'm not doing the natural way. And what I mean by that is, so snake mites, they get underneath your snake scales and then they suck your snake's blood and you notice it. You're going to notice it. Once you get snake mites, you notice a change in your snake's behavior. Like when I noticed I got snake mites, a couple of my snakes started soaking in water. And I'm like, this is, <laughs> that's my son. You know, I just had a, you know, baby boy, love him to death, Derek Jr. Anyways. Snake mites, once you get them, you're going to notice that they're in your collection because your snake is just going to act totally different. Like if you have reptiles and you had them for a while, you know how your snakes act. You know how your reptiles act. You know, for instance, I have an Amazon tree boa, never soaks in his water dish. All of a sudden, she was just every time I come home, she's sitting in her water dish. And, you know, like they, they do that sometimes when they're going to shed, but not every single day. So I start doing my research and, you know, I take her out of her water dish and I notice these little black specks and I didn't think anything of it. I'm like, hey, that's just dirt. You know, I did some research. Snakes will actually sit in their water bowl to kill the mites. That's their that's a natural way of killing the mites. They're trying to drown them and get a little bit of relief because when snake mites bite, it makes your snake itch and you'll notice it. So that was the first snake that I noticed that had snake mites. Next, I had my carpet python. I noticed he had snake mites. My, my fiance was like, babe, your snake is twitching. And I didn't know what it was. I was like, oh, he's just, I don't know. He's, he cutting up. I didn't, I didn't know what it was. I did my research. I looked at my snake. And then all of a sudden, my um, carpet python has a water bowl. And he started every day turning it over. And I was like, that's not normal for him. And I was like, I would watch him. And I'm like, he's trying to get in his water bowl, but he couldn't fit because it's kind of a smaller one. So I'm like, okay, I need to do some research. Something is going on. So I looked into it. I'm like, crap, I have snake mites. So eventually I start looking on my snakes over and I seen a couple of little black specks crawling on my tree boa. And I'm like, okay, this is snake mites. I got to get rid of them. So I did my research. I'm like, okay. There's a, you could do it the natural way. A lot of people will tell you, oh, you get your snake, you take them out of the cage, you lather them down with olive oil. That's cool. 
That is cool if you want to do that. When you put the olive oil on the snake's body, the, the mites can't breathe and they eventually die. That's cool, but that I don't want to do that. That's too much stress on my snake. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm new to the hobby. When I got snake mites, I did it a horrible way. As you notice, I have one, two, three, four, five, at least five snakes. And I have big vision cages. So I did it a horrible way. I I literally took my snake, soaked it in water, like because that's what they said. Oh, you get some ditch soap, put them in the water, let them soak, and then clean their whole enclosure. My vision cages are huge. Do you know how stressful it is? trying to empty out every cage, soak all your hides and bleach them down and bleach every cage. Horrible. It's a nightmare. It is a nightmare. Don't do that. It's horrible. And it stresses your snake out. So for me, um, my one of my favorite snake handlers, his name is Tyler Nolan. I looked him up. He has like 50 to 60 snakes. So I know if he's doing something and it's working, I can do it. So he swears by this stuff. And I tried it. It's frontline spray. It's not a natural way to do it, but it's gonna, it's the easiest way to do it. And it's not gonna stress your snake out. It literally on there, it says it kills, let's see if you can see that. Fleas, lice, and mites. This is a miracle worker. You can get it. My fiance got this for me on Amazon. This is my first bottle that I've used. It's probably got about a quarter of the bottle left. When I get paid again, I'm going to buy at least two more of these. I swear by this stuff. Huh? Huh, baby? 30 bucks. 30 bucks on Amazon. I, I swear by this stuff. 30, 35 bucks on Amazon. She was telling me the price. This is... It's the least stressful way. And I'm going to tell you what you do. You don't have to take the substrate out. You don't have to take the hides out. This is going to save your life. So what you do is you take your snake out. I normally like to put on gloves. You know, those like your hospital gloves. You spray some in your hand. You go down the, sn the um, snake's body. You just go down the body. And you let it dry on the snake. This is amazing. I treated my snakes twice with this already. And I'll tell you what you do. You go down their body with it you, and you let it dry. Then you get under their neck and you get on their head. Try not to get it in their eyes. Try not to get it in their mouth, of course. If you do, it's okay. It's not going to hurt them. When I tell you this stuff is amazing for snake mites, like a lot of people, get prevent a mite. No, the hell with that. It's stupid. Don't do it. It's dumb. It's, it's going to stress you out because you're going to have to spray your whole cage. Don't do it. It's dumb. They're like preventamide, reptile spray. Uh-uh. This stuff, when I used it, my snakes instantly started going back to their regular cells. So the nice stuff about this is it's not natural, but it's, it's not going to stress your snake out. You're going to spray it on their body, hold them in your hands, let it dry. Now, I also, when I use this, Granted, when it dries, it's supposed to sink, sink into your animal skin. I'm kind of paranoid. I like to take the water bowl out because instantly in my mind, if I put this on their body and they get in their water bowl, they they washed it off and I got to do it again. <laughs> so if you when you use this, spray them down. You don't have to take their uh the hides out. You don't have to take the, the um, substrate out. Spray them down. Take the water bowl out. Wait 24 hours. Give them their water bowl back. And I promise you, you'll notice a difference. Um, I normally, when I like to do at least two treatments. So you do one treatment, you wait seven days, and you do another treatment, and by then your snake mites are gone. And I like to do two treatments. I'm going to tell you why. Snake mites have multiple forms. So they have the egg stage, the larva stage, and the adult stage. The eggs, they're not on your snake. The larva stage, they're not on your snake. The adult mites are on your snake sucking blood. So you want to treat them one time, that kills what's on your snake. Then you treat them another time, and that kills the larva that, that, ha that has hatched. So when you put this on your snake's body and they slither this through the, the cave, they spread it all over their tank. And it's going to kill those larvae. 
when you do it that second time, it's going to kill those snake mites that are hatching. And I tell you, like you, I can't speak no highly of this. Like I, I treated my carpet python, the one that was twitching, he twitches no more because he's not being aggravated by those snake mites. Um, and I just recently did this. So like I said, you spray them, put them in the cage. It's so, it's stress-free. I have used this, none of my snakes, my, and I'm smite free within just two treatments. If you're paranoid and you want to do three treatments, that's all, that's okay. That's totally fine. But this stuff will give you peace of mind. And like I said, everybody's not going to do what I do. Some people like the natural way there. They'll tell you, oh, you know, bathe them in water with Dawn dish soap. Then clean your whole tub out, bleach it down. That's cool. You could do it like that. But what happens if you miss that one mite? All it takes is one mite to, to reinfest your whole collection. And who wants to constantly bathe their snakes when they have at least 10 snakes? I have five snakes and it was horrible when I did it the way. But like I said, once I got this stuff, my snakes are happy. They're eating. They're not twitching. They're not acting weird. My Amazon tree boy hasn't tried to soak herself. So anyway, get this stuff. It will, it will save you so much stress. Like I said, this is my first bottle. It's a lifesaver. When I get paid again, I'm going to get at least one more bottle. I don't mind paying that 30 bucks if, it's, if it means my snakes are going to be happy and healthy. Like, I, I was ecstatic. I'm not going to lie. I almost cried. I was so happy. I was like, my carpet python isn't twitching. He's not turning his water bowl over trying to get in it. He's back to his normal self. It, it just makes you feel happy. Because, like I said, mites, they're detrimental. Your snake's going to stop eating. He's going to stop everything. Because it, he's itching. Could you imagine just itching 24-7? So, if you're watching, I appreciate it. Click that subscribe button. Matter of fact, before we go, I'll show you some of the stuff I did in my snake room. Before we go, just kind of showing you some of the work I've been doing in my snake room. Everybody knows I love vision cages. Those are my favorite. I would like to ultimately switch all my animals to vision cages. You know, so if you've been tuned in, you know, this is my leopard gecko's cage. His name is Negan. That's my sand, my, not my sand boa. I'm tired. My rosy boa. That's my corn snake's cage. That's my king snake's vision cage. There's my carpet python down there. Super chill guy. He's one of my rescues. Back to his normal self. He's not twitching anymore. He's eating like a champ. Super friendly. Which makes me happy, happy, happy. Here's my Amazon tree boa. She's up in her hammock. And they're all back to their normal selves. <coughs> you know, that's just kind of kind of my reptile room. You know, this is where I get, keep, you know, I keep my peace. Of course, I got my recliner, flat screen TV, and my reptiles. I appreciate you guys for watching. Hopefully, use my tips on the um, Frontline Spray. It's going to work wonders. Trust me.